you got going a, on there at the house. a slew of projects you're working on. One that we are especially excited about here at NBC. It's going to be streaming on our new Peacock uh, service. Right. The Saved by the Bell reboot. You guys start start filming in January. We start. Yeah, it's right around the corner. So what's that's what's fine. what's going to happen? What's the deal? Who's coming back? Well, that's you know I'm supposed to like there. It, it's like a whole Game of Thrones sort of approach. Not say oh, anything really? about oh, killing so kind of thing. No, it's just poor family right here, right? Yeah. It's it's we've got a new slew of kids, but there's also okay. some a legacy cast. Is what, sort of what they're calling oh, it, right? Oh, that wow. is going to be there as well. The yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, nice way of saying I'm old, I guess. The older, <laughs> the older castmates. But it's a lot of fun. We've got great, uh, great team of writers led by Tracy uh, Wigfield, who's uh, the showrunner for 30 Rock and the Mindy, uh, the Mindy Project. So it's, uh, I'm you're, excited. You're not I'm giving excited. us a whole lot here. But yeah, no. To be honest, I've only seen the pilot script too. They're oh. very, they're very secretive. About are are you a dad? Are you a teacher? Well, I, yes, I am a teacher. Like, I, I am a teacher. I could say that. I could say that, and also do some other stuff. Waiting to see about the dad part. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you leave us this part. morning, tell us about this Netflix, new Netflix series. This is Oh, that's a show that, uh, that I'm uh, executive producing and, and also come out in recurring. It's called The Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia. Okay. That'll be airing this um, next first quarter. So we've got about three episodes left. You're putting and, us to shame. So, so, that's, so that's, that's a lot of I gotta keep busy. I keep that's having amazing. kids. And you and your and, wife uh, host a radio show? Yeah, the, my wife and I um, host. It's uh, on with Mario Courtney. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's a nationally syndicated radio show for iHeart. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. And, and you know, that dynamic's fun because she gives me a hard mm -hmm. time and right. women seem to love it which is always no, busting, <laughs> busting my chops wow. but it, it's 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 a lot of fun so you know i managed to 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 do a lot but still be there for to coach my son's wrestling team and really? do all the stuff oh, with the kids awesome. yeah so i like getting the it's kids a, all in on the act oh. like my daughter's gonna do the red carpet on monday mm -hmm. for um the jumanji premiere and oh, i'm excited great. to interview and, with and, the rock oh, and, and, and by the way we, we didn't even mention access hollywood that's oh, right. Oh, we wow. gotta mention that, Al. You gave it something. Else. I am so I am so thrilled to be part of the NBC family. We're having so much fun over there. But with all the world of access, with Access Daily, Access Hollywood, and all Access, um, Access it, Overnight. Yeah, access. yeah exactly. Yeah, no, he's, been, he's been a part of the Peacock family almost as long as you. Very much. He was he was six years old when he started. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Hi, Blanche. You look pretty. Hi, Blanche. You look pretty. You should see me if I had earrings. <laughs> Why do I have to learn algebra? Probably came very natural. I was in the strong subject. Why do I have to learn algebra? Because I had to learn how to teach it. <laughs> so I was about 13, I think, when, 13, yeah, around that age when I was on the Golden Girls. I had worked with B. Arthur a couple times before, and I did a couple pilots for the producers, Witt and Thomas, and then they brought me onto the Golden Girls, which they still play that episode all the time. Um, I was a Dor Dorothy's prize pupil. That was the name of the episode, actually. Is something wrong? I'm with the Immigration and Naturalization Service. We have reason to believe that Mario is in this country illegally. Mario, I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. So I think my name was Mario, and uh, I was like the original Elian Gonzalez because I got deported. It was, it was a very topical episode. <laughs> I got deported. I think it was supposed to go back to Cuba. That's what, and I was a smart kid, and, and Dorothy um, took me under her wing and was tutoring me, but apparently I was here illegally and I had to go. <laughs> but listen, this doesn't mean that we're gonna have to give up. We're gonna fight this. There are legal ways to keep you in this country, and tomorrow morning we're gonna find out what they are. I have to go tomorrow. Then I'll do it myself. Yeah, that, uh, that issue, I didn't realize it at, as a kid, really, right? I didn't really register as a kid, but it was, uh, it was uh, you know, on the forefront of uh, a lot of issues that we're still dealing with today. I love the show. The show is really funny. Even the kid, I could appreciate it. And the ladies were really funny and really liked it. They were, they were a lot of fun. It was cool. That was like, Golden Girls was like Sex in the City before Sex in the City. They were ahead of their time. All the ladies were fun. And I think the scenes where I was with all of them at the same time, Betty White, Moon McClanahan, and um, uh, B. Arthur, Estelle Getty, they were, they were all so nice to me. And, took me to lunch and uh, you know for a little kid that was kind of cool the ladies were just like masters of timing and, and just pros all the way around and they were very uh, uh, supportive with uh, uh, giving me little tips and just you know wait for the laugh the rhythm might be a little bit different and they change lines on the fly and just to kind of go for go with the flow it made me feel real comfortable Hi, everybody. What's going on? Oh. oh, Mario, you spoiled our surprise. Sorry, I'll come in again. Totally unsuspecting. People tag me on social media posts all the time because they play that Golden Girls episode all the time. I was wearing like a yellow sweatshirt and 
Um, then I had like a denim jacket. I remember my collar was real popped up. <laughs> Sleeves are rolled up, very 80s. I think it's just great writing and just like any um, piece of you know great art, whether it's a good song or a movie, it holds up and I think the show holds up. So did y'all hear that this week John Legend was named mm -hmm. People's Sexiest Man Alive for 2019? So in honor of that big announcement, we're going to see how much we know about people's picks from the past. Oh, okay. We're going to play, oh, I didn't know this was the game. We're <laughs> playing a special Sexiest Man Alive edition of People Puzzler with the host of People Now, Jeremy Parsons, and with Jenna and me on Team Today, fresh off our plaza, is Taylor from, from Minnesota. Minnesota. Taylor! Hey. Yeah. All right, come on, Tay. Okay, but we've got some serious competition here representing Team Access so the uh -oh. host of Access Hollywood, Mario Lopez, uh -huh. Kid Hoover, and Scott Evans, who are in New York filming their show. And Mario, congrats, yes. you just joined this team. That's yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. Very going? exciting. It's going Mario. fantastic. Love the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging up no, we're But a do y'all think y'all have an advantage because you do pop culture every day? Yeah. I uh, wouldn't uh, say uh, we <laughs> know everything. We're going to fail oh. this. So <laughs> Taylor's the one to watch out. Yes. Right. 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 My money's on Tay Tay. All right, okay. Jeremy, let right. the game begin. Here we go. Here's how it works. The first team to buzz in gets the answer. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, the other team has a chance to answer. And guys, wait until the question is complete or you'll get a severe rebuke from the executive producer. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's hear it in here. Come on. Let's get excited. Number one. First clue is for seven down. It's four letters. Who was last year's sexiest man alive? I will go right here. Idris Elba. Idris Elba, absolutely. I don't think the question had been completed, right. and this one was flashing right. over oh, here. Wait, All right. Just make sure ours I like the fire, Jenna. It's, it's working. Done. See, okay. okay. Right. Just test it out. Okay, here we go. Checking. Question number two. The next one, this is for eight down, nine letters. Sexiest man, uh, men alive, Hugh Jackman and Chris Hemsworth, both hail from which sexy country? Okay, over here, team today. Australia. Australia, absolutely oh. right. Yeah. Good yes. job, guys. All right, we're tied up. You ready for this? Yes. Question number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking at down. ten across down. seven letters. This former James Bond and Mamma Mia star was Sexiest Man Alive in 2001. Oh, Team Access. Go Mario. Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan, oh, absolutely. Hey, All right, we got okay. a two to one Don't lead. Worry. Here we go into <laughs> the next one. Ten He's down, ten seven down. letters. Pro soccer player named Sexiest Man Alive in 2015. We took you were early oh. over we here. Did oh. Beckham. Beckham, absolutely. Oh. Thank we you for waiting yeah, for the whole question. Oh, you were too All right, early. we tied up here. Yeah, 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 All right, right. neck and neck. That's think. shady. That's shady, by the way. If you <laughs> okay. know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. That's right. Okay, here we go. We have to now wait. we're at uh, 12 down. Six 12. letters. Ready? Okay, six letters. Denzel Washington was named Sexiest Man Alive before or after George Clooney. All right, team today. Before. Before. Absolutely right. Whoa. Denzel was 1996. Okay. George, 1997. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, you guys have to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. 13 across. Y'all are going down. 11 <laughs> letters. Wait, Readers voted this proud. Archie. Pro oh, no. no. So cute. Readers I voted you this proud father, father of little father. Archie, sexiest new dad of 2019. Father. Keep today. Prince Harry. Oh, Prince God. Harry. Wait, Prince 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 Okay, here we go. Okay. Baby. After the Christmas. discussion. Okay, Christmas. ready, guys? Christmas. Here we go. Here we go. Question number seven. And lastly, Taylor you can take Christmas. it all with this one somehow. Benjamin. Uh, lastly, <laughs> stick, uh, <laughs> stick it with the baby Benjamin. theme for 14 across. Yeah. Five letters. This little guy named Benjamin is 2019's cutest baby alive. Who's the dad? Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen, everybody. Hey. Hey. I think team today wins, though. Congratulations, team today. One-year subscription to People Magazine. Let's hear it for Taylor. That was controversial. Woo. Controversial. Oh, Going home empty handed. We have the consolation prize, a gift basket filled with Today Show swag. Oh, nice. bag. There you go. Well, Everybody's a winner. Put these on today. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Nice you can catch, catch Access Hollywood weekdays at NBC.